Well, first I want to thank all the organizers for this beautiful conference online. <laughs> so today I shall speak with of singular solution of some elliptic equation involving mixed absorption reaction. This uh, talk is uh, the second one. You saw the talk of uh, Laurent yesterday about the same oh. subject, the same equation, but on the boundary. On the boundary. And today, I shall, today I shall speak of the interior problem. So here I study the positive solution of this equation of mden fowler type with an absorption term, u to the p, and a source term relative to a gradient, gradient u to the q, and m is supposed to be positive. Less than p. And for simplicity, as with all the time. So here we are concerned with some different problems existence and non existence of singular radial or non radial solutions near a singularity, an isolated singularity. That means g is omega minus zero. Or in an exterior domain, g is rn minus omega bar. Or in wall rn minus zero. Uh, also, I want to study the asymptotic behavior near uh, singularity or in a, an exterior domain, and also deal with uniqueness of singular solution in Rn minus zero. So uh, notice that this problem is not variational, and so this study is made possible by a sharp analysis of the radial case. I shall explain it after, for which we introduce new methods. This is a joint work with Marta Garcia Widopo and Laurent Véron. Uh, this paper is quite long, so I shall only speak of a few points of the paper. Uh, uh, I recall two other of our contributions linked to this equation with measured data. The object of the talk of Laurent yesterday morning, it is the, the study of the solution near an uh, isolated singularity on the boundary or with measured data on the boundary. Um, and a second paper relative to a study of the equation with interior measured data, uh, which is, appeared in uh, advanced in nonlinear studies, measured data problems for a class of elliptic equation with mixed absorption reaction. In the case M negative, with two absorption terms, many results of isolated singularities and in Rn minus zero have been discussed by uh, Guillaume Fontaine in uh, 2016. Also, when M is positive, the problem had been looked at, uh, at uh, many years ago by Richard and Véron when Q equals two. Q equals two is a very special case where you can make a, a change of uh, unknown and it is very specific. In our case of the equation right, um, minus, I recall it, minus delta u plus u to the p is m gradient u to the q, m positive, there is a balance between the absorption <coughs> term and the source term. For the specific value q equals 2p over p plus 1, the equation is invariant by the scaling. V of y is lambda to the 2p over p minus 1, u of lambda y. And the behavior depends strongly on the value of m. I apologize if I, if I repeat something that Laurent talk, said yesterday. For q different from 2p over p plus 1, the two terms don't play the same role. In fact, there are three equations we are involved. First, the mden fowler equation with absorption minus delta u plus u to p equals zero. Then the Hamilton-Jacobi, or called also Riketty equation, minus delta u is m gradient u to the q. And above all, I shall, we will see after, by the uh, echo, econal equation, u to the p is m gradient u to the q, where is no de delta is involved. So in this problem, three exponents will be involved. 
the first, I call it alpha, is 2 over phi minus 1. The second, beta, is 2 minus q over q minus 1. And the third one is gamma, is q over phi minus q. Indeed, the Emden Fowler equation is governed by a radial solution, singular solution for p less than n over n minus 2. U of x is a certain constant, I call it y x at 0, uh, times uh, the norm of x to the minus alpha. The A. Connell equation admits a singular solution when q is less than p of this form. U is a constant which yeah, you can compute times norm of x to the minus gamma, and gamma is q over p minus q. And finally, the Hamilton Jacobi has a singular solution when q is less than 2, which is of this form with x to the minus beta, and beta is here. So the first thing for this equation is that the solution of the equation satisfies the Oserman, some Oserman Keller estimates. When q is less than p, that we supposed, m is positive, any solution, positive solution in, uh, in, in of the equation in an open set, it satisfies u times a uh, universal constant the, times the maximum of the distance to the boundary to the minus alpha and a constant mean to m times the distance to the boundary to the minus gamma. And we can, uh, it is quite easy to prove this, uh, this phenomenon. And uh, we can also obtain precise estimates of the gradient, either from the estimates of u when q is less than 2, uh, or from Bernstein technique when q is less than p. So I shall not speak of that today. As a consequence of the uh, uh, Oserman estimates, there is no positive solution in Rn. The behavior of the solution when uh, you consider an, uh, an open set omega containing zero, the solution which are regular at the origin, that means ca which can be uh, extended to omega, such that uh, the limit of u on the boundary is infinite, uh, this solution has been studied a long time ago by Bandel and Caruso. Here I concentrate on the singular solutions. So here I recall uh, the two, the three values. A consequence of uh, the estimates of M. Den Keller, and then uh, the estimates of uh, keller osterman times is that if you consider a solution near the, in a ball minus zero, it satisfies in the half ball an estimate of the order of uh, um, the x minus to the alpha when q is less than 2p over p. When q is greater, it is the power gamma, which is important, the power linked to the iconal equation. However, conversely, if you consider a solution in a, an exterior domain, you obtain estimates which are exchanged. That means if q is less than 2p over 3 plus 1, you have an estimate like that with uh, an iconal power. And if q is greater, an estimate in x to the minus alpha. Hence, the behavior is modeled by the emden fowler equation or by the iconal, iconal equation. And finally, the Hamilton-Jacobi will play an intermediate role in the sequence. When you see this estimate, you understand that when you, we are looking for global solution in Rn minus zero, you will have the two types of uh, power. The, so the situation is not easy. Now I uh, try to explain why the description of radial solution is central. First, it governs asymptotic behavior, but also it allows to construct non-radial solution from the radial ones. They are based on a method of super and sub-solution. So we have this result. 
when less, supposing that Q is less than two or equal to two, and G is a bounded domain in Rn, and suppose you have a super solution in W1 infinite of G, phi, and a sub-solution psi of the equation, such that the psi is less than phi, then for any uh, key in uh, W1 infinity G between phi and phi, there exists a solution U of the equation such that U is between phi, psi and phi, and U minus key, uh, uh, excuse me, so is zero. W1 to zero. That means yes. U equals key on the boundary, the boundary. This result, in fact, is valid for much uh, uh, general case. For the sign solution of equation of these types, minus delta u plus b, b of x, x, u, gradient u equals zero, where b satisfies such estimates where uh, uh, the, the, the increasing, uh, the growth respect of the gradient is limited by two. And gamma is supposed to be uh, increasing. As a corollary, if you uh, suppose that Q is less than two and consider a smooth bounded domain containing zero and a ball containing omega, and you suppose that there exists a radial decreasing function V in the ball minus zero, satisfying the equation and such that uh, near zero, V tends to infinity. Then for any phi in W1 infinity of omega, there exists a solution U in omega minus zero, such that U is phi on the boundary and U tends to infinity as X tends to zero. And moreover, the behavior of the two solution is linked. U is less than V plus a constant, the, the, the positive part of V plus a constant, and the positive part of V minus this constant. So you see that uh, how the radial, uh, the existence of radial solution is important. Also, when uh, you deal with uh, uh, non-radial case, when Q is less than 2P over P plus one, the uh, important non-radial tools is ARNAP inequality. That means if U is a positive solution of the equation in a ball minus zero, there exists a constant, a universal uh, constant depending on arm and R, such that the maximum on the sphere of radius rho is less than the sphere of radius rho for any uh, uh, x, for any rho less than r over two. The, but not, note that uh, this arnac inequality is not uh, proof when q is greater than 2p over p plus one. So first I shall speak of the radial case q equals 2p over p plus one. In that case, the two, the three powers are equal to two p or two over p minus one. We said, as is uh, as usual in the uh, mden fuller uh, equation, x of t is r alpha to u to the r, and y of t is uh, minus r uh, alpha plus one u prime of r, and t is a logarithm of and we get a system when m is zero, it is a uh, and then follow a system. Xt is alpha x minus y, yt is a uh, minus k, k is here, y minus x to the p plus m y to the q. And the sign of k depends on the position of p with respect to n over a minus two. So when we use all the techniques of the numerical systems with no use of the energy function, we can give a complete description of local solution near zero or near infinity, 
large solution uh, for a problem in a ball minus zero or large solution in an exterior domain and also global ones. So we, we can have a complete description. The so singular solution that I mentioned above, u equals x m r minus alpha, if they exist, correspond to the fixed point of the system, x m alpha x m. The, when you look at the linearized problem at zero, zero, the, it admits two eigenvalues. Lambda one is minus k and lambda two is alpha. And we can prove that the trajectory associated to lambda two corresponds to regular solution. And the trajectory associated to lambda one correspond to solution which behave like R2 minus N, either near zero or near infinity, according to the sign of K. We first consider the case P less than N over N minus K. In that case, there is a unique solution, UM is a of particular solution of this form. It is unique. And for any k, we can prove that there exists a solution uk behaving near zero like the fundamental uh, solution and near infinity like the xm, like the, the particular solution um. Moreover, the uk converges to um as k tends to infinity. This is sm the simple case. Next, for simplicity, we omit the case P equals N over N minus two, excuse me, it is equal, where a logarithmic solution appear. For that, we lead to, they lead to a more sophisticated analysis of the phase. But we concentrate on the case P greater than N over N minus two, where new phenomena appear. There is a new constant, which is involved, which has, and it is, is positive because P, P, P is greater than N over N minus. It depends strongly of the Oui. Écoute, continue. Continue. La, co La connexion est très mauvaise. No, 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 Okay. I said that there exist two solutions. You uh, want... so, so please uh, share, share the screen share again. Screen. Share the screen, Marie. Tu partages ton écran. Share. Il était? Share. Non, share your tu screen. Rien, tu n'as rien touché? Voilà. Okay. Il faut pas toucher à ça. Je n'ai rien fait. Yes, okay, okay. So, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I apologize, I didn't make anything. So I was saying that when P is greater than N over N minus two, there is a particular value M star, such that for M greater than M star, there exist two solutions, two particular solutions with the same X R R minus alpha. 
And moreover, there exists one solution, U bar, joining with the behavior of U1M near zero and the behavior of U2 near zero. And moreover, for like U1 and near zero, and like uh, uh, fundamental solution near infinity. If M is equal to M star, the same conclusion holds with only one solution. If M is less than one star, there is no such solution. So I try to explain it by the phase plane. In the phase plane, you have two fixed points, one, one here, P1, P1, and one here, P2. The solution which uh, U bar that I, I prove the existence co is coming from U1 to U2. And the solution which are the, the behavior uh, I, uh, like that, this one, correspond to solution which comes to this point and go to zero. That means here the, the second point is to an heteronic, heteropinic trajectory joining the two points. And you UK so, uh, trajectory joining here with zero. Now uh, I come to some non-radial case, always with u is to be over p plus one. The first uh, uh, information concerns the separable solution u of x is r minus alpha, omega of s, s is on the sphere. We get the equation, which is here, minus uh, here is a laplace beltrami operator. K is a constant given before. Uh, the, the, the absorption term and the term concerning the gradient. What we can uh, show is that when P is greater than N over N minus two, if M is less than the constant I have defined before, there is no positive solution of this equation. If M uh, e equals M star, the constant uh, x m star is a unique solution, a uh, unique rad, uh, a unique solution. If m is less greater than m star but less than a new constant m bar, then the constants we have two constants we are solution and there are, there are no other solution. The proof is not easy. It is ba based by on Bernstein technique. And we, it is an open problem to know what happens when M is greater than M bar. Uh, concerning the non-radial case, we also get many results of existence and uniqueness of solution in omega minus zero. Uh, as I said before, when we uh, coming from the existence result on so, uh, the radial solution. Next, I concentrate on the behavior of the non-radial near a singularity. So in the simplest case, P less than N over N minus two, we can prove that if U is a positive solution in omega minus zero, either it behaves like uh, the constant times X minus alpha, or it, has a, uh, it behaves like the fundamental solution or it is regular at, uh, at zero. That means it extends at the C2 solution in omega. When P is greater than N over N minus two, the problem is very delicate due, due to the possible existence of the two singular solution when M is greater than M star. We get some non-radial result of convergence where U of X is U of Rs as usual you consider a positive solution and you suppose that M is greater than M star, the most difficult case. We can prove that if the limit half of X alpha uh, U of X is zero, then 
you extend as a C2 solution in omega. If the limit sup of x alpha u of x is the greatest constant in x to m, then the limit of x alpha u is to m. There is a limit. If the limit of uh, is x minus 1m, the smallest one, or the, if limit sub of this is also one x 1m, then we can prove that there exists a sequence tending to zero such that r n to the alpha u of r n s tends to x 1m uniformly on s n s minus. In the case uh, m is m star, we have a better result because we can prove that either u extend of, as a C2 solution or there exists a Rn such that this uh, as here holds uniformly on Sn minus one. The proof you see is, uh, the equation satisfied on the sphere and are not any problems. We have not completely solved the problem of convergence. Now I come to the radial tools when Q differs from 2P of P plus one. I begin by the radial case and then by the non-radial, I continue by the non-radial one. So here we introduce three systems over the two. Here the main difficulty is that EM is, has no scalar invariance property. In order to make a zoom on each singularity, we have to treat Uh, excuse me. Uh, uh, there was a sound. Some, some people was so. We try to make a zoom on the singularities. Uh, we are uh, no. Uh, excuse me. Laurent. Oui. Adrien. Ah oh, bah tu dis non. C'est toi qui dois le dire. Well, je, I am sorry. I'm sorry because our son is trying to. It's a problem. Excuse me. Wait a minute. So I can speak. Uh, the main difficulty, so I have uh, invariance properties. So we find x of t is r alpha to the r before in the case p equals to q equals to p. I think the internet connection was unstable there. You can hear me? Now, yes, now I can hear you. Uh, you um, you heard what I said before? Uh, no, I think there was a uh, disconnection. So I, I, I begin again here? Uh, yes, but please share the screen. Encore, still? Yes, because uh, now I don't see the share screen. I just see you. Please share um, the screen, yeah. Well, I, I, it is difficult today. Share écran partagé. Yes, now I can see the share screen. No, you have a screen? Yeah, 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 I have it now. 
Yeah, I see it now. Yeah, I apologize because it is difficult. So I, I, they said my connection is not stable. Yeah, yeah, I, yeah. So uh, I said in the radial case when Q is not equal to 2P over P plus one, we introduce three systems over the two in order to make a zoom of it on each type of singularity. The first system is the, the same variables as before. The system is not autonomous, where it is of this form, xt is alpha x minus y, yt is minus k, k has been defined before, minus xt, but now, there is an exponential here. Sigma is p plus one q minus two p. It is not equal to zero. So we have a perturbation of M den Fowler system and near either near infinity or plus infinity according to the sign of sigma. That means the position of q with respect to the two p over p plus one. In the same way, if you uh, introduce a second uh, change of variables with link to the beta, two minus q over q minus one. You obtain a second system. I shall not mention the system here, but this system is a perturbation of the Hamilton-Jacobi equation near infinity of zero. But the most interesting transformation is linked to the iconal equation. You set, uh, you introduce the power which is here and define uh, x is this um, r gamma u of r and y is the corresponding for the derivative and we obtain this system which is still with an exponential and theta is a particular value and I make two remarks. The, the particular solution of the equation of uh, econal equation satisfied this is zero and this is zero. However, there is a main difficulty because the solution of the equation admits such a behavior when r tends to zero, q is greater than 2p over p plus one, or r tends to infinity, q is less than 2p over p plus one because of uh, um, we have seen the, MDM for, uh, the keller oserman estimate. And in both cases, this exponential goes to infinity and not to zero. And this term to goes to zero, since one goes to infinity. So it is a big problem. Uh, also, not, not that the theta is zero is a critical case. Indeed, theta is zero when Q has this a strange value, n minus two P over n minus one, but it corresponds to the case where gamma is equal to n minus two. So in that case, only in that case, you have a particular solution, which is with a special constant times r to minus n, which is a solution of the equation. For, for this system, we can construct a Lyapunov function of a new type. It is one of the key points of the study. It, it begins like uh, usual, uh, the usual, uh, I say, uh, energy function, but this term is not at all uh, uh, usual. And there is also uh, an exponential perturbation. And when you look at the derivative of this uh, function, it, it has a beautiful part here, which is a, as a sign and uh, a perturbation with exponential. The construction of this Lyapunov function is an adaptation of the results, the construction of Leighton and Anderson that they did for autonomous system and I apply it to non-autonomous one. A second key point is a new autonomous system of order three. We introduce the slope S of T is R u prime of u, and we can show that any solution of the equation u of em satisfied an, an autonomous system with three unknowns, x, which is r, r gamma u, psi is 
R beta U and S with R U prime over U of this form. Xt is X times gamma minus S, Xi T is Xi times beta minus S, and ST has a, a little more complicated. And the two uh, the solution of EM are linked by uh, the relation be, because xi is, uh, is this and uh, uh, this and x is this so xi of t is exponential of beta minus gamma t x of t so any solution of em satisfies this system and reciprocally the system is not equivalent but each trajectory of the system over the three corresponds to a unique solution of EM. So by this way, we can prove the existence of quite all the possible local solutions of the equation near zero or infinity, singular or regular. So now I come to the uh, local and uh, global behavior of the radial solutions. Uh, I suppose n greater than three, q less than two, I omit any particular case which where in a logarithmic uh, uh, behavior is proved. So, and here I also proved uh, and also let, don't treat the case n over n minus one, which also introduce a logarithm. If you have a radial solution near the origin, So it is a behavior near sing an isolated singularity. And if Q is greater than 2P over P plus one, you have um, different types. Either you behave like the high uh, solution, that means the biggest one, or it depends on Q. If Q is greater than N, then you, have a sol uh, you can have a solution like the Hamilton-Jacobi equation. If Q is less, you have a, a behavior like a fundamental solution of, or U is regular. So you see the three types are possible. If Q is less than 2P over P plus one, it is more simple. Uh, either you behave like R to the minus alpha, or it behaves like the fundamental solution, or it is regular at zero. The, similarly, uh, near infinity, that means for an exterior problem, we obtain a description of the solution where the role of the parameters is exchanged. If you consider a radial solution near infinity, first you prove that Q is necessary greater than N over N minus one. Then, see if Q is greater than 2P over N P plus one, either P is less than N over N minus two, you have a behavior in X minus alpha, or it is greater and you have a behavior in R2 minus N. If Q is less, now, uh, then either you have a behavior like an iconal solution, or like uh, Hamilton Jacobi, or I can say you is regular at infinity. So you see here the three possible uh, behaviors near infinity. And at each time we can construct local solution with these types of behavior. Concerning the solution of global solutions in our global singular solutions, it's not easy. And for that, we use the technique of super solution and sub solution. We can prove that uh, if Q is greater than 2P over P plus one, there exists a solution such that it behaves like the iconal equation at zero. And at infinity, it depends of P either in R, in R R minus alpha or in R2 minus N. And moreover, the solution is unique, not only among the radial solution, but all, all the radial solution, all the solution of the problem radial or non-radial. Now, if Q is less than 2P over P plus one, 
there exists a solution also unique among all the solutions behaving like uh, x in x minus uh, r minus alpha and like uh, i kernel e uh, equation near infinity. Concerning the solution we, uh, uh, relative in r minus beta near zero or infinity, that means the behavior of Hamilton-Jacobi equation, we can prove that there is no radial solution in rn minus zero with this type of behavior at infinity, but uh, uh, there is this solution uh, with this type of behavior near zero under some additional condition of p, q, n, and the problem is not easy. Uh, as an application, I mentioned the non-radial behavior near a singularity. Our main results concern the case p is less than n over n minus 2 and q is less than n over n minus 1. You consider omega a bounded set containing 0. Then first we prove that for any k there exists a unique solution. New k in omega minus n minus 2u is k, and u is 0 on the boundary. Moreover, the application k times uk is increasing, and as k tends to infinity, the uk converges to a function u infinite, which is 0 on the omega, and which has either the behavior of uh, iconal solution if q is two, greater than 2p over p plus 1, or the um, behavior of uh, uh, and then Fowler equation when q is less, and with a special value when q is 2p over p plus 1, so these two constants are not equal. The proof uh, uses a technique of a two-side estimate by a radial solution the radial solutions that we have constructed before uh, at theorem 10, 11, and 12. So our theorem, uh, this one, is uh, concerned an isolated singularity. And uh, I've concluded, I want to make the link with the paper and uh, on existence with measure data that introduced yesterday by Laurent. Uh, uh, I, re I recall this result. Q is less than two. Mu is a measure on the boundary. Uh, if mu satisfied this condition for any Borel set, then th there exists a constant C0 such that the equation has a solution in W1Q0. Uh, uh, in W1Q in, uh, in, in LP for C less than C0. So the, if you remember our, our uh, result, it was concerning such kind of solution near an isolated singularity. So, and if in the case here, in the case P that we considered before, uh, NMU, uh, with a, there is an equation for any mu uh, for any small uh, c, c, sufficiently small c. We wonder if this condition of smallness can be removed because in, in our preceding result, we have a solution for any key. So it is an urban problem. Uh, some uh, words on ex possible extensions. Uh, first, I mentioned that a great part of our results, in particular all the radial ones, could be extended to an equation with the M Laplace when PQ is greater than, uh, when, excuse me, P, uh, oh, excuse me, P is greater than M minus 1 and Q is greater than M minus 1 according to the C, C side. 
However, I think it is very technical, and I'm not sure that it offers uh, interesting things concerning the radio problem or the even. We can, we can. See. We are also concerned by this equation, where now uh, the problem is inverse. U to the p is a, a source term, and the gradient U to the Q is a, an absorption term, either in the ball minus zero, or in an exterior domain, or in Rn. This problem may give rise to many difficulties. They are still well known in the non radial case when m equals zero, it is a, the Emden Fowler equation. And even in the radial case when m is positive, the problem of a ground state is not completely solved in some cases, as uh, shown by Serin uh, in an interesting paper. So, Concerning this problem, where are we, uh, we are still have tweaked the case Q equals 2P over P plus 1. In uh, this paper published in uh, 2019. And we have also studied the behavior near an isolated singularity at the boundary uh, in a paper which is submitted and that you can find on archive. Trace and boundary singularities of positive solution of a class of quasi-linear equations. And concerning the interior problem, our study is in progress. The problem has many, we, um, we offer many difficulties. So I think I, so I shall stop now. And uh, I thank you for your attention. Okay, uh, thank you very much.